Today you'll learn to make a main menu in Unity quick and easy, so let's start. As an example I'm using this simple scene which we created in the beginner tutorials. You can check the simple tutorials out through the i button. So to make a menu, right click in the hierarchy window. Go to UI and select canvas. Double click on the canvas to focus on it and hit 2 on your keyboard to enter 2D mode. This is where we'll be creating all of our UI. So first, let's get a background. Just right click on the canvas. Then you and select an image. Click here in the inspector window. Hold out and select this option. This will stretch our image throughout the canvas. Now click the color option and give it whatever color you like. Now, right click on the image. Go to UI and select a button. Use the inspector window to resize it as you like. Drag it to the top and select the top alignment without holding out this time. Now let's change its text, and increase the size of text. You can select different alignments for text too, for now I'll keep it in the middle. Select the button, and in the inspector window you can change the color of the button as you like. Mess around with the different color options below and see what looks good to you. Now, select your button and hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. I'll place it in the center and also align it to center. Duplicate it once more and place it below the center. Now we'll change the text of the buttons. Now we'll create a script to add functions to our buttons. Create and open a new script. First, we'll use time.timescale to stop the time when we enter game mode. As when we play the game now, it just starts the second we enter game mode. Let's disable the image for now and see the issue. Now I'll drag and drop the script to our canvas. And as you can see, the ball stays still. I'll enable the image again and name it main menu, so we can see our menu again. Now, we'll create a function for our play button and also we'll declare our main menu in the top. Now that we've declared our main menu, we'll disable it in the play button function, as we don't want our menu to appear even when we are playing the game. Also we'll disable the time pause, so our ball can start moving. Save the script, and head over to Unity. Here select the play button, hit the plus icon, drag and drop the canvas, then hit the drop down, and select the function that we just created, and don't forget to drop our main menu in the script. Hit play and you can see the play button is working perfectly fine. Now let's create a function for our quit button. Here just write this line of code which is going to close the game. Whenever you click on the quit button, assign the quit button function to the quit button same way we did to the play button. But nothing will happen when you click on the quit button. That's because we're running the game in Unity. When you build the export the game, the quit button will start working. Now, let's create an options panel too. To do that, right click on the canvas, go to UI and select image. Stretch this image through the whole canvas too, while holding out. Give it any color. We'll learn to create options menu in the next video. For now we'll just add a text that says options. And also we'll add a button to the options menu, so that we can go back to the main menu. Right click on the options menu image. Then you and then button, align it in the top left. Now, click on source image option of the button in the inspector window. Change the image to drop down image. Rotate it to minus 90 degrees on the z-axis and now it looks something like a back button. Now in the script, first we'll create a reference for the options menu, then we'll create a function for the back button. Whenever we hit the back button, we want to enable main menu and also disable the options menu. So we'll do that. We'll also create a function for our options button that'll guide us to the main menu. Here, we'll disable the main menu and enable the options menu. Save the script. Select the back button, drag and drop the canvas, then select the function that we created for it. Let's disable the options menu and assign the options function to the options button.
and also and also drag and drop the options menu in the script now if i hit play it's working perfectly fine that was it for this video we'll create an options menu with different settings in the next video